coming to the green flag to get this one underway. AJ on the digger and Austin Sindrick up through the gears they go. Two by two and already jockeying for position as they get ready for the right hander turn number one. Here they come into the corner. A.J. Allmendinger first there. His teammate Justin Haley darts to the inside. Three wide further back. Everybody trying to get their footing coming into the corner. It's Justin Haley now that will grab the lead over A.J. Allmendinger who slipped in turn number two. Haley driving away as the field tries to run side by side through that kink that is five and six. Oh, we got cars contact back there between several cars. Cars going around. 07, the 36 car. Rest of the field barrels down into turn seven. I get it running. Peter Salen right now with 11, Austin Cedric. Here's Ty Gibbs taking a fight to Amendinger. Amendinger off track. Got to get himself back on. Rooking himself back into the racetrack. Austin Cedric will be beside him. Amendinger struggling on that first lap. Has fallen back to the fourth row. So Haley on the inside. Now, Ty Gibbs already looking to the inside, trying to make a pass. He's got Justin Haley outside him. Austin Sindrick running second right now. And Haley is going to navigate turn number one first. Let's watch down into the breaking zone. I'm not doing radio style, but I'll sound like it. Here comes Ty Gibbs. He looks down to the inside, and Allgaier is going to have the outside line. Ty Gibbs, the preferred line, but now Allgaier will have the inside coming back. Both solid road racers. Allgaier was so much more experienced, but this year Ty Gibbs has been just spectacular. Ty Gibbs is going to take over that position from Allgaier. And right behind them, a guy who really needs a great run today. Trying to put the pressure on, him up, just him up. on Haley as they dive into number one. Here comes Cedric. He looks for the lead. To the inside of Haley he goes. Cedric outbreaks him. Side by side into one. Cedric's going to slide it in on the inside. He'll grab the point before they leave one. But Haley's now going to try to stay with him. That's exactly what you're going to have to do. Six laps to go in this day. Got a car spun around here, Jeff. Out of turn seven, the 24 car. Took it in there a little bit too far. Will Rogers, a very established and talented road racer. And Ryan Sieg has a left rear tire that's down. And the problem is he's on the front stretch. So he's missed the entrance to pit road. You see sheet metal all over the racetrack. I believe this is going to have to bring out the yellow. That debris right there is in the racing surface. Riley Herbst, Sage Karam making up row one. Back under green, as I mentioned, two to go to end stage one. And the fresher tires do anything in these two laps. We're about to find out. They stay door to door. Riley Hurts surging ahead now. He has the number one spot. Congestion through one as they all try to sort it out. They slide through turn one and two. A.J. Allmendinger making a bonsai run on that restart. He's trying to gain some ground. So is Justin Haley. He's going to get the stage win after pit, and I didn't think he'd have a shot, but that great restart put him in position. Alex Jantz, the crew chief for the 11, making a great call, bringing him to pit road. Now Haley taking advantage of the fresh tires. He's back out front, and he's going to win his fourth stage of the 2021 season. Oh, yeah, Haley oh, yeah. wins stage one. And a tip of the hat to Sage Karam in fifth making his Xfinity Series debut, the 26-year-old out of Nazareth, Pennsylvania, knows IndyCars, doesn't know NASCAR. Austin Sindrick in that 22, Justin Haley in the 11. As we come back to the green flag, starting stage two. Couple guys checking the inside line, making it three wide as they go to turn one. And one of those is going to be Noah Gregson for the lead. He makes it three wide. Austin Cedric on the outside. He's going to have the lead. And Cedric will hold off that nine of Gregson. As Haley bailed out, he was in the middle of that three wide coming through turn one. It'll cost him some spots, and it's going to cost him another one. Look out. One car spinning further back and off the course as everybody will slide by everybody. Trying to check up another car in trouble. That's Chris Wright. He'll go off course as well as a couple of drivers come to grief here through turn number five, working their way onto the back straightaway. There's some damage to the, oh, the one car, Chase Elliott's around. He spins. 360 gets it riding, gets it going, but coming to you, Jeff Burton, 
It looks like there's some damage to the 18 car. And look at this. Oh my goodness. That's almost like ski jumping. That's Winter Olympics preview right there. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's some Hollywood stuff right there. Now the question is who did it better? <laughs> and who, who will join them tomorrow? <laughs> It will be eight laps to go until the end of stage two. Austin Sendrick, Noah Gregson will be fighting it out now as they come back to the start finish line. Across the yard of Bricks, Austin Sendrick and the 22 on the inside. Gregson on the outside trying to outbreak him as he gets into turn number one. Here comes Justin Haley as well and A.J. Allmendinger in the mix. A.J. Allmendinger now going to challenge Austin Sendrick for second as Noah Gregson in the nine will get away with the lead. He's going to push it down here, be right up alongside the nine car. Oh, a little contact amongst all the top three there. A.J.'s going to be clear into the lead. Gregson now trying to fend off the 11 car of Haley, who's moved into third. Sendrick back to fourth. Yeah, Sendrick all the way back to fourth. A huge surprise. I think it surprised him Noah Gregson was able to outbreak him into turn one. And now... Look at Noah, look at the battle right there. Sam Mayer, he started mid pack. He has worked himself up now badly for one of the best road racers for a top five position. Almendinger stays on the track. Haley stays on the track. A bit surprising there. The seven of Allgaier. Oh, and the caution comes out. And the problem there, Allgaier is not going to be able to do his service. He didn't get to the commitment line. It didn't look like he got there in time. That'll be a question of Will Rogers climbing out of the 24. That's the reason for the caution. This is going to make their chances of winning more difficult. Doesn't remove them from the win, but man, more difficult. And remember, Sindrick, he's already serviced his car. He's going to restart way up front. Well, I think one thing that those teams can look at is what happened to Ty Gibbs. Ty Gibbs spun. He's already back up inside the top four. You can do it. As we get ready for the restart and the starts of stage three. Big jump by the 54 of Ty Gibbs. He has the advantage. Austin Sindrick going to get a little help from Maya Snyder as they go down into turn one. Here comes Harrison Burton as well in that next imaging number 20 as they go into one. Daniel Hembrick is the first one jumping out of line. He threw the block on Haley. Haley's got to follow him through. 54 of Ty Gibbs away with the lead. You got Cedric away with second. We thought he'd be on the defense. He's still on the offense while out the front. Cedric's out of line. We'll see how aggressive he is as he dives into turn one. Cedric trying to take the lead away from Ty Gibbs. He's there. He'll dive it in. But here's Gibbs. He's got lane preference coming into turn number two. Side by side they race. They lean on each other. Cedric Gibbs and now Myatt Snyder is in the mix. Front three. This is the battle for the lead you're looking at in turn four. Cedric gets away. Now Ty Gibbs is just trying to hang on to that number two spot. Nice job coming to the start finish line. Looking for his fifth win of 2021 and looking ahead to 2022. He'll be a full time Cup Series driver driving the two car for Team Penske on the Cup side. But today he's going to win at the historic Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Cindric gets the win. You are the man. That was Nick Cruz, you guys are incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Indianapolis winner, Austin Sendrick. Unbelievable. First of all, i got to thank Roger Penske for every opportunity I've had in my career, every opportunity he's given you race fans to enjoy this beautiful weekend with three race series. How awesome is this facility now, guys? It's amazing. I'm so proud to be part of this Penske family. and. PPG, everybody, Ford, uh, every, everybody that's put so much into my career, but obviously this racetrack is so much deeper than just that, uh, my family history and what this place means to me. I mean, I, 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 I can't even put into words what it means to win at Indianapolis. We know you played the tuba in high school. What was going on with singing back home again in Indiana? I, I didn't even know I knew the words that well. At least remember him that well, but uh, hopefully I didn't make Jim Neighbors <laughs> roll over in his grave. Uh, I know I was here the last time you sang the song, and it uh, gives me goosebumps every time. I'm sure it does everyone else. So um, proud to be here, proud to drive for Roger, and proud to win at the Speedway. You said proud to drive for Roger. All around Team Penske, you see the evidence of Indianapolis there. What does it mean? How big is it to take home a trophy? There's nothing bigger. Nothing bigger. There it is.